It's raining outside. It is Friday, October 22nd, and I'm Wyom. Indonesian government has confirmed that the people who were torturing a victim in a video were actually from a military. They said that the prosecutors of this action would be punished. The thing I'm surprised about is that they actually admitted that it was their fault. And finally said, we're sorry, we're gonna fix it right now. Even though I'm pretty skeptical about the fact that will they actually punish the people or not, but still, the fact that they admitted their own fault is some kind of a new stage of achieving their goal. But in the comments below, we'll say, do you think that they're gonna punish the people or is it just gonna be a publicity act? Moving on, Typhoon Maggie, you already hit Taiwan and is heading good towards the southern of China. Unlike Taiwan, China is ready for this typhoon. Even though it is predicted that by the time the typhoon hits China, it's not gonna be a as critical as it was in Taiwan to take much of a damage and to have the least amount of uh, victims. Roads are filled with water and the cars are having a hard time uh, going from uh, destination A to destination B. This typhoon also caused mudslides in Taiwan and it's probably gonna cause the government to restore everything into balance. So let's hope that everything is gonna be okay and this would be just a mere chapter in the history book. Unfortunately with seven victims in Taiwan. Next story. Britain's most powerful submarine got stuck in Scotland. How lame was that. Honestly, in the article, it still didn't say yeah, what was the reason for it. There were no victims uh, and uh, no nuclear incidents happening, but the submarine had to go out of the water in order to check if everything is okay, exposing it to the whole Scotland. Now, how lame is that that the, the Britain's uh, most uh, powerful submarine just got stuck in Scotland? 38 torpedoes and missiles cannot stop them, but the rocks can. I think British engineers missed the point where they have to first make it rock proof and afterwards make it missile and torpedo proof so that this kind of an incident would not happen. But I'll stop dishing British engineers and just will move on with my news. Mel Gibson is gonna be in Hangover 2. Not. The producer of Hangover 2 was said that uh, Mel Gibson is not gonna take part of the movie. He was supposed to act as a tattoo guy and the studios thought that he was a perfect match, but the cast and the crew didn't want him on the set. Because all of bullcrap that he did for the past couple of years? That's karma biting you in the ass, Mel Gibson. So now they're going around and looking for a new tattoo guy who's gonna be not uh, Mel Gibson. And Mel Gibson is fucked now, as another one of his projects has failed. You act like a douchebag, you get people being douchebags to you. But in the comments below, leave your opinion if he does deserve this kind of treatment. Moving on. In third quarter of 2010, Apple surpassed RIM. As some of you may know, RIM stands for Research in Motion, and they make Blackberries. But today it was said that Apple surpassed their shipping of Apple iPhones to the world compared to RIM. This is a basic illustration of what has happened. This is iPhone and this is Blackberry. iPhone is doing Grim. This is not such an encouraging news because I'm a Blackberry person, but the people are saying the reason why Apple surpassed the RIM is because of the RIM's technology on the touchscreen, which they said is not that good as an iPhone's, but they are doing a good job with the keyboard. But I don't know about other people, but I prefer more of a keyboard rather than a touchscreen. But in the comments below, leave, uh, are you a touchscreen or a keyboard person? Rooney stays in Manchester United! Today it was announced that Rooney is actually staying for extra five years in Manchester United. Well, actually, his contract is uh, for extra five years. But I'm still happy because I'm a big fan of Man U. And the fact that Rooney is staying over there is awesome. Some people are saying that this was a media scheme uh, just to put like a little hush about him. Well, I meant to say yet so that everyone would be talking about him again. But you know what? I don't give a shit because I like him. And as long as he plays a goddamn good football, soccer in states, I don't give a crap crap what he does, what he wants to do, or whatever with the crap it is around him. Nice football. Me love Rooney. Simple math. My shoulder hurts like hell. But that's all the news I had for you today. Everyone have a good day and don't pay.